Okay, welcome everybody. Let's take a look at the market. Um, we'll look at the weekly, the daily, and the trades of the day. Uh, today was a little bit of a unique day. When we get to the daily chart, I'll talk about why that is. But here's the weekly um, candlestick. You can see some of it's quite a bit of it has retraced back up here. Yesterday was way down here. Today it's uh, two thirds of the way back up. That's a weekly chart. Um, Do I think this is done? Probably not. Probably not. This is still rolling over. So we'll continue to keep an eye on this. This, you know, the numbers haven't changed since yesterday. The only thing that's really changed is to, you know, today's move to the weekly candlestick and back up in the opposite direction. Okay. I think there's unfinished business here, but we'll see what happens over the next few weeks here. Kind of a pivotal point in the market to see which way this market's going to go. It looks like it tried to, to make some kind of gain here. Um, so that's something we obviously got to keep an eye on. But here are the, the resistance above is 51.69, 50.63 below that, and then there's 49.37 below that. Okay. All right, so let's go look at the daily. All right now here on the daily chart, you can see we had a big green day. And see the range is 89 hasn't quite made up this entire can yesterday's candlestick was 98 we'll call it today's was 89 so it made up like two-thirds of this it's kind of typical same thing we saw back over here you see how we had this big old red candlestick and then the next day you had this green one which is about made up about two-thirds of that candlestick maybe three-quarters on this one this one's about two-thirds so that's kind of typical when you get these big down days, then the market has a bounce day, and then we'll see if this kind of drags sideways for a little while here and then come down. Will it make its way? The market really still hasn't made its way all the way back up to the 50. It tried, you know, here on this day, these two days, it tried to get up there. It never really made it, which right now is 51.68. So we're still below the 50 day moving average. Um, you know, this hasn't really completely made up its mind, but it is pointing down. This is kind of pinched looks like it wanted to cross over and go above but it hasn't done it um now speaking about today specifically well jay powell came out and opened up his big mouth like he always does you know him and his crony buddies had to make money today i mean it's just something they do every what is it every month they do this whatever it is how often they ever do it they come out and, and speak and then they run the market up like the market, your typical Fed speak day, the market was dead pretty much all day until whatever time he spoke, two o'clock, one o'clock. And then the market went nuts on basically no news, right? There wasn't, there wasn't a rate cut and there wasn't a rate increase, but the market just went wild, you know, and it took off and, and this is why we got this big green candlestick. Do I think that the market went up wild and crazy on the same day that the Feds came out and spoke as a coincidence? No, I don't. I think they do this. This is what they do. This is how they make their money. They've been caught. I mentioned this last time. They've been caught several times making money. <laughs> and, you know, no, no, one, no one's going to do anything about them basically profiting off of, you know, Jay Powell's speeches. Him and his crony buddies. This is what they do, right? They they go out there, they stand behind, he stands behind a podium. He says a few key words and the market goes wild. And you can guarantee this guy and his buddies made a bunch of money today. You know, all in the name of helping save America. Well, let me just, let me just pose this one thing. How is that any different than insider trading? Seriously. It, 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 uh, the America is riddled with history of people doing insider trading who've been, been busted, right? And some of them have gone to jail for it. But Jay Powell and his buddies are allowed to come out there, stand behind a podium, say a few words, which makes almost always makes the market make massive swings, either up or down. And we're supposed to believe that him and his cronies didn't make any money doing it. Yeah, okay, right. You know damn well they made a bunch of money today on this big fat green candlestick. Because that's what they do. Um, I don't, for me, I don't really care. I make money on the market, whichever way the market's going to go. I just find it super hypocritical that these guys under the guise of we're helping America when really they're just lying in their own pockets is, uh, it's just pathetic. 
Um, anyway, on the daily chart here, you know, I'm going to say the market probably will um, trend downwards. You know, yeah, we had this big, huge green day. But, you know, it's kind of like what I said about the Google and Microsoft day when their earnings came out. It felt so contrived to me. The market popped up, you know, on those earnings. And then it gave it all back, gave it back and then some on this day. And that's how I feel about today. It's not... You know, when Jay Powell and his buddies get up there and they're speaking all this trash, it's not really in the flow of, of, of a free market, right? They're up there, they're speaking things that manipulate the market. So it's a bit contrived. And, you know, I just think the forces that, that move the market more naturally, organically, are going to eventually take over as they almost always do. So it's kind of hard to tell at the moment what this market's going to do. But if I had to, you know, throw my best guess at it based on just the way that I'm seeing the market, I would say the market's probably going to continue to go down. And I think May 8th pressure on this cycle is going to push it down. How far down? I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. This is not a huge cycle, this May 8th one. The one out here, this is more of the bigger cycle. So we'll see how this plays out here. So there, I mean, there could be a bounce up here to the 50 day. I mean, it could kind of get some momentum, go up here, hit the 50, maybe go above it, then come way down out here. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to get a feel for the market because we're kind of in a weird little spot here. But overall, I think organically speaking, the market's probably going to have, have, it's going to be difficult for the market to deal with the downward pressure that we see in the weekly chart. And I just think, you know, with momentum being negative right here, we're below the zero line. It hasn't yet crossed over. This is still kind of doing this thing. So, and there's other data that I've been looking at that makes me feel like the market's still probably going to be weak. So that's kind of my take on that on a, on a kind of on a daily basis. Of course, for members, you know, check your nightly emails. I'm always going to say what I think uh, and give my best opinion about what the market is. You know, sometimes like I'm not always remembering the days that the Fed comes out and speaks, you know. Yesterday, I said the market for today would be a down day. And then I forgot that Jay Powell is going to come out and breathe his bad breath on the market, you know. So I should have mentioned that in last night's email. Hey, guess what? Tomorrow's Fed day. Anything goes is probably what I really should have said. Because when he comes out and speaks, you know, the, the whole world waits with bated breath, you know. The whole world's waiting for this guy to say a few key words so they can go nuts and either sell the market like crazy or buy the market, you know. Which to me, just like I said, goes back to to a contrived day. You know, it's it's not really an organic day of trading. It's a contrived day, right? Somebody's saying something that the whole world's waiting on, and to me, that's just not organic, right? That's that's somebody sticking their the iron into the into the fire and, and you know stoking the fire, right? Um. Yeah, so that's kind of my take on that. I think on the daily, I think it's going to remain weak. We'll just have to see how this thing plays out. Did did the Fed and their buddies do enough to repair the damage? Because that's all this really was, right? They wanted to try to get the run up the market. Did they do enough today to change the market, the sentiment of the market? Did them and their buddies at BlackRock and their... See, what people don't understand about the Federal Reserve is they have discussions with the major funds. Those people don't realize this. That's what's going on behind the scenes. The Federal Reserve literally has discussions with big funds like BlackRock and other big funds. They literally go out and talk to them. So the big funds know, you know, they're not supposed to know what's going to happen. But let me tell you something. They know. They know. <laughs> that's just the, that's the reality. That's really what's going on. Okay. It's just they never talk about it because it's technically illegal. Well, it's not technically illegal. It is illegal. But they do it anyway. They have these discussions. They've, it's, they've been caught doing it. They have phone calls. It'll be some of the biggest funds with the Federal Reserve and BlackRock and some of their buddies, and they're, and they're in cahoots with one another. And they get on these phone calls, and they talk about where the market's going to go. So they already know before Jay Powell's going to get out there and, and breathe his nasty breath on the market. Now, you, I ask, is that not insider trading? Because in my, in my mind, it is. Yet they somehow have coerced the 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 the, uh, the books to make it all sound legal. Yeah, it's just whatever. 
yeah, Democrats, you know, and the rhinos too. They're they're just I've been and I'm not, I don't let the rhinos, the Republicans, off the hook. They're just as they're just as bad. You know, the House of Representatives has been horrible. Th- these people have like no. They don't really have any, um, any morals, right? They just it's all about. I'm I'm okay with people making a, a buck. Like I think that's a good thing. America should should be a capitalist nation and and make money and do all the things they need to do, but not when it's being contrived and manipulated and coerced, right? I I just think that there needs to be an honest discussion about what really is the stock market today, right? Because it's not a free market. That, that that them days have come and gone. And I just think you know we're under the guys, and they play they play pretend, right? It's it's like a pl- it's pretend time that the market is a free market when we all know it isn't. Okay, let's take a look at the um, the intraday charts and see what the trades of the days were. All right, so this is the five minute chart. It should be really easy to see what the trade of the day was, right? <laughs> this is like just okay. What do you think happened right here, guys? What what happened right here? What was going on? Why did it get this plus indicator <laughs> get a signal right here? You know, really simple answer to this one, right? I call him Pow Pow. Pow Pow opened up his nasty mouth. That's all that is. It really is just that simple, right? Do I buy that today? was like some kind of theoretical low in the market. It just happened to be coincidence on the same day that Pow Pow opened up his mouth in the market with nuts. No, I don't buy that for one second. This right here happened because there was a discussion prior to Pow Pow opening up his mouth with major funds. That's all that is. This is an agreement. You want to know what this is right here, guys? This is called an agreement behind the scenes agreement okay pow pow some other fed heads major funds agreed to do this that's all it is there wasn't you don't honestly believe that billion dollar funds were waiting around in the wings hoping that jay powell was going to say something they wanted to hear you don't really believe that do you because if you do you're not you're kind of falling asleep at the wheel. No. BlackRock and other big funds talked to these guys, and they already knew. They waited for him to do his speech and then ran this up. And what do you think Pow Pow did? You think he benefited from that? Him and his other buddies? You think they got the cha-ching today? Yeah. I know they did. Me, that's fine. I'll make money, jump in here somewhere, whatever, and just make money that goes up. Just the same as everybody else. I mean, I'm not stupid. I'm going to make money whenever there's market moving wild in one direction. That's no problem. I just don't agree with the way it's being done. Okay. um, So that's the trade of the day. Kind of a no-brainer on a day like today. Uh, Let's take a look at the 15-minute chart here. And what do you know, here and here coincides again, not going to go over it twice. We know why this got a signal here and and who made it happen. Okay. So uh, let's see, it's about 2.30, the intraday will close here. Well, intraday really kind of just trades till 3.15. Technically the market closes at 3, but they're still trading until 3.15. Um, we'll see what this is going to do um, in the coming days. As I mentioned on the daily chart, I if I had to take a, an educated guess based on just data and kind of organically look, looking at the whole thing, like I said earlier, I think the market will probably uh, will we'll slowly give this up and, and um, this will just basically is going to be retraced. Um, today was a very profitable day. I mean, this was obviously a lot of money was made right here. Really nice. 
you know, now just talking dollars and cents here, getting past the manipulate the manipulative aspect of those whole thing. There was still a lot of money made today, so it was a really nice day. Um, gold also had a huge run up after Jay Powell opened up his his nasty mouth. So both uh, S and P, I'm sure the other ind indices did it too. Nasdaq probably did it. I don't really follow the Nasdaq too much. Um, it's just a little less efficient to trade. So I don't trade it. Um, got a pretty kind of sizable pullback going on here right now as I speak. So some of it's already getting retraced here. Um, and I just don't think, like I said, I just don't think this is going to hold up. It's probably going to, it may not give it all up right here at the end of the day. It may. But, but I think in the next few days, this is going to go crash, bang, and boom them. Um, but, but all in all, it was a good day to make a bunch of money. And I noticed gold did the same thing. So, you know, you, you would think that gold and the indexes would trade opposite, right? But for some particular reason, today they traded in synchronicity, folks. Hmm. That's just odd. Not. <laughs> Though gold and SP 500 and this do sometimes trade in synchronicity, you know, it has happened before. There are times that it does do that. But today, in particular, the reason it did it was, well, let's just say it wasn't exactly organic. All right, good profitable day. I think there's a lot more money to be made in the market coming up soon here. Regardless of whether it goes long or short, there's always going to be opportunities in the market. Today was a very powerful, um, profitable day. Um, I think, we'll, like I always say, there's always going to be opportunities in the market. The, in the, the indices, the SP 500, the NASDAQ, and gold are going to continue to be huge money makers. So um, you should really take advantage of the market. It doesn't matter whether you have a big account or a small account, take advantage of the market. If you want to become a member, um, I'm about to, about to end the video. So stick around to the very end and I'll show you how to do that. For everybody else, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you all, all real soon again next time. Okay, uh, if you want to become a member of that is really cool um, or awesome or whatever else, the discord.com link is in the description right below this video on YouTube. Okay, make sure you read those instructions very carefully. And once you do that, click on the discord.com link. It'll bring you to get a server, then click on server shop, then it brings you to this page right here. Guys and gals, $7.99. I mean, you know, today was, for a small retail account, today was hundreds of dollars. For a medium-sized retail account, it was thousands. And for bigger accounts, of course, you can make tens of thousands. And the market is just ripe with opportunity. Take advantage of it. You know, don't be too tight-fisted with, with the eight bucks a month, okay? I've shown many, t yesterday mate, was a $3,600 day for me, okay? I just didn't show it, and I don't always show all my trades. But take advantage of the market. Take advantage of this cheap service, okay? The, the streaming charts are down here, by the way. So when you join, just click on this. You're going to get the five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour chart. Okay, really good charts. The us Plus indicators on there, as we saw on the five and 15 minute charts today. There's also a one hour chart. The cycle analysis are on there. Today, the one hour, well, you know what? I mean, the market's pulling back right now into the two, 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 three o'clock, you know, the two o'clock hour, which is, believe it or not, is actually on this this one hour chart. It's, it's, that big run up from Jay Powell's speech, like more than half of it's been given back now, just as I'm looking at the, looking across the room here. Okay. Yeah, probably about half of it, maybe not quite half, maybe like almost half, maybe a little more, somewhere right around there is already retraced. So even on a day like today, where Jay Powell manipulated the market with his, with his buddies, See, even still, the, the organic aspect to the market took over, right? The market retraced. The cycle low that's on the one-hour chart is having an effect on the market, right? So normally, if it wasn't for Jay Powell and the Fed heads manipulating the markets today, we probably would have had a pretty decent pullback without this run-up down into the one-hour, or sorry, down into the, the two-hour I'm sorry, the one hour chart at 2 p.m. is what I'm trying to say on the hourly chart. I know it sounds confusing, but anyway, all those charts are down here at the bottom, okay? So take advantage of that. You can click on it, you can watch the streams. Okay, there's also gold because in the last month I put up the, uh, maybe the last month or a month and a half, I put up the gold stream. So just ask me in member chat, hey, get us, where is the link for the gold uh, charts for streaming charts on that? And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you the link for it. 
Now, if you're a new member also, you can, and when you join, ask me about the new members video. It's a pretty good video. I'll give you a link to that, okay? Um, every day I put premium symbols in the premium symbols channel. You want to check that out. Okay, there's a lot of good symbols in there. There's future symbols in there. There's optional stocks in there. There's industries in there. Industries, there's short symbols in there. Okay, so really nice. And I forgot to mention, there's S&P 500 alerts and gold alerts. So on the streaming charts, when the Get Us Plus indicator indicates there might be a possible trade, it sends an alert to this channel. Really, really nice. All you can do is right click on this channel, turn notifications on. You can do the same thing for gold if you want to watch gold. I got a few members that trade gold almost every day. They'll come in, they trade gold, they pop in, they trade, do some trades, they leave. So gold, you know, has been, I know some members are taking advantage. I got one or two members that they're, they're profiting off of gold probably at least three or four days a week. So if you want to trade gold instead, you can do that. Okay, the, start, the charts are there for you to do that as well. And don't and don't forget, for those that may not know, you know, you can trade, of course, I know there's a lot of options traders. That's great. Go ahead and trade your options. But if you want to trade the futures products, don't forget that, that in the S&P 500 and gold, they have micro products. They have e-micro. So you can trade really small margin positions, okay, if you just want to get your feet wet. That's really nice, especially for new traders. Okay, or people with small accounts. Today, as a matter of fact, I traded some micros. I made like over a hundred bucks trading micros. Okay, I have a bigger position on the S and P five hundred for the E minis, kind of a swing trade. Man, the market's really pulling back really hard here. Like seventy five percent of the run up is almost completely gone. <laughs> yeah. See, I call that kind of like run up like that after Jay Powell speaks. That's not real market stuff. I'm just looking across the room here at the live charts right now. It just goes to show you that that's just, that's like a FOMO trading. I think I even said that today in the Discord server. That run up was FOMO trading. That's all it was. The fear of missing out trading. The market went wild. A bunch of long side traders came in because they didn't want to miss out. What, what makes me kind of, what's kind of weird about traders is why wouldn't you do that short as well? Why would you only trade long? Like I'll, I trade long and make money on the, the FOMO crowd. That's fine. On the algos and BlackRock and them manipulating the market, making their money today. That's fine. I'll make money. As long, you know, if they're going to run it up and, and cheat the market, I'll make money doing it. But why wouldn't you also do it short? It's just, just traders are weird. Like there's a massive pullback going on right now. And why wouldn't you take advantage of that? It's just, that's, see, when I talk to my members, I try to, convey to them that, you know, mature traders take advantage of the market in both directions, right? I'm not a long guy or just a short guy. I'm a trade the market guy and you should be too, or, or gal for that matter. Okay. So anyway, back to the, to the membership here as I finish up the video, there's nightly emails every night. So make sure you put your email address in there. You'll get the daily chart of the S&P 500 that has the daily cycles on there. It has the support and resistance lines on there, and it's gonna have um, a few sentences of my opinion about the market the next day, okay? And then you've got a uh, member chat up here in S&P 500 chat, so really nice. Just think about everything you're getting for the 799. You're getting the S&P 500 and gold streaming live streaming charts five days a week, 24 hours a day. You're getting the alerts that go along with it. You're getting the premium symbols. You're getting the nightly emails. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's a daily video every day, Monday through Thursday, that goes into Get Us Plus Only Posts channel. Okay, so I always put out the videos every day for the members. Okay, and then you've got you know the regular member uh, chat and regular chat. And if you have support issue, just put it in member chat, and I'll I'll try to adjust it. Okay. Lastly, I'll talk about the rules here. You got to read the rules. If you break the rules, that means I'm going to get in your face about it. It's going to be your fault because you didn't read the rules. Okay, so make sure you read the rules. Uh, the rules are: I don't give financial advice. I only give my opinion. Everything on this server, no matter who's saying it, is educational purposes only. You're responsible for your own trades and same thing with this video and all my videos okay also there's a refund rule in there so make sure you understand what the refund rules are and there's also a rule in there about being nice and respectful to everybody else on our server now we do get into some kind of debates and heated topics sometimes but i try to keep it civilized all right so be respectful on the server no foul language no nasty posts or pictures or any of that stuff don't do that because if you do i'm gonna i'm probably gonna kick you if it gets really bad i'm gonna ban you so don't do that okay all right, guys and gals, lots of opportunity in the markets, both in the indices and in gold. Take advantage of it. Join $7.99. Spend a little 
you know, invest in yourself. Spend three months, you know, spend the 25 bucks. Happy trading, everybody. God bless everybody. Talk to all real soon again next time.